we are one month away to CAT 2022 and in this video my objective is to give you a solid strategy, a revision strategy for CAT 2022, a study plan for CAT 2022 so that you can maximize your chances in this year's CAT. Now you could be a student who's been scoring very well in your mock tests or you could be somebody who's not scoring so well. Despite who you are, irrespective who you are, this last month is very crucial for you. What you do each day, what you do each week is very crucial to what could your outcome be in your CAT. Now, this video is going to be slightly long. This video is going to be long because in the first video mein, which I am making for CAT, I need to set the context right. So, do bear with me if you want to watch this, then watch it on 1.5x of speed because it's very important for you to watch this entirely. I'll set the context first and then I'll take you through exact week by week study plan, a week by week strategy of how you can conquer CAT. Hi, I'm Darpan Saxena, an MBA graduate from IIM Udaipur and let's get on with the video. Now, those of you who know me, who've been on my channel enough, they know that usually and only, I mean, I only create videos for those who are MBA students who are already in their MBA and I help them maximize their outcome from MBA. I help them get the best placements or to get the outcomes without depending on the placements. That's what I do. However, I decided to make an entire video series on this year's CAT because of two very big reasons and you need to hear this for you to know that why exactly am I speaking to you and exactly who am I to speak you about CAT 2022. Now the first reason why I'm creating this is because I've seen that even if you are an MBA student and if I have to help you get the best job or the best outcome from your MBA, it is very important that you should be in the right mindset. Your mindset towards facing challenges needs to be right. And hence, if I help you from right now, then probably I can help you develop the right mindset of not only cracking cat, but also doing well after it. And that is what exactly my plan is in this entire video series which I am creating that not only will I give you tips and advices on how to crack cat in these last crucial days but also I will tell you what other things you need to do to improve your CV to improve your profile so that when you enter your MBA or when you are about to prepare for your MBA interviews you can do very well that was the first reason why I'm creating this the second reason why I'm creating videos on cat is that a lot of you would know that I was working as the MBA product head at Career Launcher at the head office in New Delhi. Now, from that, I have variety, you know, I have a deep experience. I have a deep experience of helping students crack the exam, crack CAT. And I was the one who was creating and planning the mocks, the classroom schedule, the online classes schedule over there. Hence, I know that the solid advice, the right strategy, the solid strategy which I can give you, it needs to be heard. You need to know this so that you are in the right frame of mind for CAT. And my objective in this entire video is to help you understand very logically, you know, I will not be sharing with you just any random advices because I feel like doing that. No, I will give you a very logical understanding of why whatever I'll be saying to you, I'll give you a very logical explanation of why am I saying that to you. And only once you understand it logically, only once you understand that strategy from your heart, then you'll be able to action it out very smoothly. And that is what it is. So without any further further ado, let's get on and understand CAT 2022 and how to crack it. And if you're excited to know this, then do not forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon and also like the video. Now, at the starting, I will quickly take you through what the CAT 2022 exam is going to be like. What is the pattern? And I know that you may know it, but it's very important to start from there so that we are on the same page with respect to CAT. And let's quickly, let's quickly start to understand what CAT 2022 22 is so right now on your screen what you can see is all about cat 2022 as you would have seen in the press release which was published in the newspapers back in august you know a few of these things that they have clearly 
stated that CAT is going to be a 120 minute exam. It's going to be a two hour exam. We already know this. And since we know it, we can also say that yes, it will happen in three slots, which is exactly what happened in CAT 2020. One. Now, however, in their advertisement, they had not specified that how many questions will be in the exam, but we can safely assume that there will be 66 questions in the exam, which is the same as what it was in CAT 2021. And it is also a very logical way to understand that why I'm saying that there will be only 66 in this. Because if in three hours, because if in three hours they used to have 100 questions, it only makes sense that in two hours they will bring it down to 66. So from a very logical standpoint as well, we know we can safely assume that they will maintain 66 questions in the exam as it was in CAT 2021. Now in front of you, you also have the structure of the exam. You know that there will be three sections which are VARC, DILR and QA. We know this. This is already established and we can safely assume that this is going to be the breakup of the number of questions in the exams. Now further, we know that there will be two kinds of questions in the exams. One are the MCQ and the other is the non-MCQ. Now, how do we know this? How can we logically say that it will also happen this year? Because if you go onto the CAT website, in their FAQs, there is one particular FAQ which speaks about non-MCQs. So we also know that the non-MCQs will be there in this exam and what you have in front of you is a breakup of what could be the breakup of MCQs versus non-MCQs in the exam. Again, it is safe to assume that it will be the same as what was there in the CAT 2021 and this is exactly what it was in CAT 2020. One. So we've quickly established that what do we know about the exam. Now the second thing which I'd want to again establish which is a question which would be in the minds of a lot of aspirants and I will be creating a detailed video on this particular heading itself that what could be the level of difficulty of this year's CAT 2022. Well, if you were to ask me, if you were to ask me that as per me, what is the most logical answer? What is the most safest assumption to make and the most logical assumption to make of what would be the L of D of CAT 2022? Then my answer is going to be this. It will be the same as CAT 2021. Now, while I'm saying this, you could say to me that, hey, but where's the assumption? What are you saying? You're saying that everything is going to be the same. Well, there is a logical reason why I'm saying this. There's a logical reason why I'm saying that it will be the same as CAT 2021. The reason for it is that what happens is that whenever there is a change of, of the pattern of the CAT, then you would see a change in the LOD of the exam as well. Apart from that, the LOD usually remains the same and it gradually either increases or it, in, or it gradually drops down. I can share it with you with some specific examples. However, I plan to make a separate video on it and that video is going to be very insightful for you. It will be happening in the next subsequent days. So now these were the three years. These were the three years when the last three occasions when the exam had changed its pattern. Now, quite interestingly, I was one of the aspirants on these two occasions. So I know I have experienced it that yes, how with a change of, of the pattern, there was a change in the LOD of the exam as well. So these were the three instances where students actually experienced a striking change in the LOD of the exam. Apart from this, since the exam pattern, the structure of the exam is going to be the same, it is very safe and it is very logical to assume as well that the LOD of the exam will remain the same. Now from there, the most important thing, the thing for which you are here, that what should be the revision strategy, the strategy for CAT 2022, how to crack CAT 2022 in these 30 days, what should you do in each week? Now my objective 
in this video is to give you a week wise plan a very sharp crisp solid week wise plan so that you know exactly what you need to do each week the beauty of this plan which i'm advising you is that you need to see each week in isolation each week has its own flavor and i will be explaining you that what exactly is the importance of each week do not skip this part this is very very extremely crucial very important for you because again this could make or break your percentile completely now again here in front of your screen what i'm sharing with you let me just go back to the place where i'm I have to share with you yes here it is the 30 day prep plan for cat 2022 this is the week wise plan this is my unique plan for you which you will not find anywhere else but then that's not the objective the objective is how this plan can really help you for these four weeks i have split each week into a very particular flavor and i call this my 4c 4c's strategy of cracking cat in the last four weeks the four week revision plan for cat 2022 now what are these four weeks the four weeks the week number one is calibrate week number two is concentrate week number three is consolidate and week number four is calm now from this you would have understood a lot about it but i'm sure you you know you still don't know the specifics of it and hence my objective right now is to take you week by week and explain you that what exactly are the specifics of it so the first thing first one which i want to speak to you about is the week number one which is calibrate that what do you really do in this first week which is starting from right now now as you can see in front of your screen the effort required from you in this week is going to be extremely high and as you'll watch this you will uh, realize that how with each week i will ease you out into the cat and how i will drop your required effort because that is very that is very important it is crucial for you to really be calm towards the week number four and that is why it is called calm so let me give you a very concise strategy of week number one which is which is the week of calibration now what do i mean by calibrate first of all what you need to know is that your admit cards would have already come out your admit cards are expected to come out on the 27th of october so now the thing is that you already know which slot you are in calibration effectively means effectively means how do you start to calibrate yourself to the actual cat the very first thing which i would advise you for this week is that write three mocks but the most important thing which i must add in this is that write three mocks in your slot that is very important so which means that if your actual cat exam slot if your cat slot is the very first slot then for each of these three mock tests wake up in the morning and write the cat in that very hour it at that very exact time of the day that is important that is the real meaning of the word calibrate and the three marks will help you truly align yourself with with it very frankly the objective of these three mocks is not even to assess where you are assessment wala part aapka ho chuka hai this is only truly it is a calibration stage aap kaise calibrate kar sakte hain ki aap reality mein aap apne aap ko cat day se align kar sake that is the first point that is the main thing now in these seven days i am saying write three mock tests which means that on the alternate days every next day after you write the mock spend that day a few hours on that day to analyze that mock now i'm sure if you've been a serious cat aspirant you would have already completed a very serious analysis exercise in your previous mocks but this is again important so that your last minute hiccups or whatever problems you are facing in your mock you can see it you can analyze it so do not write any mock without analyzing it Uska bhi koi fayda nahi hoga. so it's not just about writing it in your slot it's also about how do you analyze that mock so that even if there are any last minute issues which you have that also you can solve now the third point now the third point is very important that when you're analyzing your mocks focus on your weak areas right now right now you still have the time you actually do have the time and i'll explain it to you in the week number two that why am i saying focus on the weak areas i'll explain it to you properly i'm still saying to you that focus on your weak areas when i'm saying that analyze uh mock tests 
also lay emphasis or probably more emphasis on why you are not able to still solve the questions which you are not able to solve. At this particular point, I would also say to you, you should subscribe to the channel. The reason why I'm saying this is that because my next few videos are going to be exactly on this thing that if any of your section is weak and you're four weeks or three weeks away from the cat, what exactly can you do? What is your strategy for those sections? How to revise for that so that you can even ace those? And when I'm saying this, you know, it's very important for you to know that why I'm saying this. I'll just share it in one line to you that, okay, my weakest area was quant. My strongest area was VARC when I was an MBA aspirant. Would you believe me if I say to you that when I cracked IIM Udaipur, I scored more in quant than in VARC. Can you believe that? One of the reasons for that is because I could use the strategy which I'll be sharing with you in one of my future videos that how you can even convert your weak areas into a very solid point for yourself. So that is a part of this series which I've planned for you. So that is important. Emphasize on questions from weak areas. When I'm saying that, I'm talking about weak areas from your mocks, weak areas from your mocks as well as weak areas from some of the advice which I'll be giving to you in the next few videos and the last point is that which I've already said watch my next videos in which I'll be giving you section wise videos on how to crack your weak areas that will be very important for you so do subscribe do like this so that you will know whenever that next video will come up from there allow me to walk you through the week number two very crucial now this week number two very frankly out of these four weeks in terms of your preparation, in terms of your studies, probably week number two is very crucial, most crucial than all the four weeks in terms of your studies. Now, let me go to week number two quickly. The week number two, as I said, was concentrate. So, so the first one was calibrate. The second one is concentrate. Now, the effort is still high. You need to put in the same number of hours which you have been able to put in the last entire year or since whenever you've started your CAT prep. The same amount of effort needs to be still put in the studies. Now, what exactly am I asking you to concentrate on? What exactly is it that you need to focus on? That is what I will share with you right now. Here it is. And the point number one might sound very counterintuitive to you, but this is true and I'll logically explain you why I'm saying that this is what has helped me. This is what has helped a lot of cat aspirants I've spoken to who have made it to I'm Ahmedabad, nowhere else but I'm A, how this has helped to you. The first point I'm saying is that in this week, concentrate but on your weak areas. And again, I would say that to you that how will you do it? I will be explaining it in detail in my next videos, next few ones in which I'll be speaking about if you're weak in QA, what you have to do. If you, you know, if you're weak in DILR, what you have to do. If you're weak in VA, VARC, what you have to do. I'll be speaking about that. I need to explain to you that why exactly am I saying to you that focus on your weak areas. You need to understand that because probably you might think that, okay, concentration now is about focusing on your strengths. The weaknesses are gone. Well, the fact is, even if I were to advise you that, hey, you have three weeks in your hand and forget your weaknesses, jo weakness rahe gai, usko chhod dije, ab jo aapke paas aata hai, focus on that and study it again. Agar maine maan ni jaya, aapko agar ye advice bhi di hoti, mein aapko guarantee ke saath keh sakta hoon, aap ye meri advice maante bhi nahi. You would not have bought this advice of mine had I said this to you. The reason is very simple. How our mind works is that we have three weeks left. We have three big weeks left. We have some 21 days left. And we know that some areas of our are really weak. Some areas of our, or it could also be that an entire, entire section of ours is weak. You will not feel comfort in the fact that, okay, I am leaving my weak areas completely. I understand that I have been a student. I'll give you an example of this. My natural strength in CAT was VARC, undoubtedly. It was my natural strength. In all of my mock tests up till now, I was scoring a 98 or a 99 in VARC in almost all the mocks, except for one or two mocks here and there. 98 or that. Had you told me to, you know, in, in the last three weeks, focus only on VA, 
rc i would have not taken that advice because i know that my quant is so weak that if i don't give my last effort on that it might change my fortune just because of quant i might not get any single shortlist i know that therefore i would not advise you something which i know is not natural it's not human therefore again i'll go back to the slider and i'll share it with you that concentrate on your weaker areas i will be sharing a strategy video wise of of how you have to do it again mind you week number two is the last week in which you'll ever be focusing on your weak areas after this no more looking back on your weak areas this is your last chance again for this while you need to follow the strategy which i'll be you know which i will be advising you in some of my future videos one thing which i can say to you right now so that you have actionable advice is that one way to focus on your weaker areas is to go back to all of your mocks which you have attempted up till now and look at the questions of your weaker section that why weren't you able to solve it i'm sure so for example for me if qa was my weakness if i knew that qa is something which can ruin me completely i would go back i would go back and i would focus on qa i would look at my mocks and analyze it and 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 analyze it again that is what i would do more on this in my future videos as i explain it to you and the third thing very important a lot of you would be appearing for ift and snap you know these two exams are also happening in December, just one week and two week from CAT. So what I'm advising you is that this is that week in which you must take three mock tests of SNAP or IFT. I mean, I mean to say combined three. So it could be two of IFT and one of SNAP, something of that sort. So that right after your CAT, you are at least in some understanding of what the exams are what ift is what snap is and then the remaining mocks you can attempt after the after the cat because again i can say this to you from experience after cat even if you are a topper or if you're somebody who knows he's not scored well there is a lot of anxiety even after cat for one day or or the next two days after cat you are in days you are in completely brain fog all you are trying to do for the next two days after the exam is trying to find out how much percentile you can score that's all you do you will not aapke pas focus aapke zehen mein wo focus hi nahi aayega that abhi aapke do important exams reh gaye hain to jab aap us flow mein hain aap cat ke flow mein hain usi samay aapko ye do mocks karne hain attempt aapko zarur karne hain agar aap actual asli ift or snap aspirants hain agar aapko inko bhi apna ek option create करना है आपको देने ही होंगे एंड वीक टू इज द ओनली टाइम वेन यू कैन डू इट सो डू डू गो बैक एंड अटेम्प्ट a few mocks three mock of IFT or snap and spend some hours on analyzing it very important from there allow me to take you to week number three which is what you will like because now the effort is slightly dropped now you need to ease into cat now you need to decrease your effort a bit and go to a moderate level of effort because the week number three has the flavor of consolidate you need to start to consolidate whatever you have learned so now we should go ahead and see what exactly this week is all about now this week is going to be very fascinating very easier for you because this is the week of consolidate now you need to consolidate your prep and you need to start decreasing your effort you need to relax start that phase of relaxing because that's very important for your mindset if you've seen enough of my youtube videos which i create for mba students i say to them also that for you to get the best placement or the best outcome from your mba if you want to build a startup after your mba or whatever you want to do you need to have the right mindset and hence this becomes very important for you that in this consolidation phase you are thinking right and hence your effort needs to drop slightly but what exactly am i advising you when i am saying consolidate what is my advice it's very simple you know which are your areas of strength which are your areas of weaknesses the very first advice is that now start to revise 
finalize all the formulae of the concepts and the concepts of your areas of strength जो आपके areas of strength हैं अगर उसमें कुछ formulae लगते हैं say say suppose if it is a QA then that or if there are any concepts which could be for VARC and for DI LR then go back to it and start to consolidate it that is very important then advice number two in the previous mocks I'm sure which I always advise to my CAT students is that bookmark some questions highlight important questions in which you utilized some special trick because you need to keep all your tricks and tips fresh when I was you know when I used to work at CL CL is known for helping students with a lot of interesting trips, uh, you know, uh, tips and tricks, which is also called Jugaad, GP's Jugaad. Now, if there is anything in the last few mocks which you have attempted, which you need to go back to, go back to it, consolidate it completely. Then the third point and a very important point, very important point. See, now you are done with your mock taking. You, you are almost done with it. Okay. Therefore, now is not the time to question your, your strategy at all. Whatever strategy you have created for yourself, that is the final strategy. Believe in your strategy. I am sure if you have been a serious CAT aspirant, you would have attempted a, a lot of mocks. You would have tried a lot of strategies across the year or across the months for which you have been preparing for CAT. And now whatever strategy you have finalized, that is your final strategy. There is no scope to play around with it. So stick to that final strategy. That is the only strategy, whatever it is, that will that will help you get the good percentile. And the fourth point is linked to it, that in this week, write not more than one cat mock. And whatever cat mock you will write in this week, it needs to follow the same strategy which you have finalized for yourself. There is no changing of strategies anymore. In fact, even in the last four weeks, I would not advise you to change your strategy. Whatever has worked for you up till now, you need to stick with it. That is very important. That's a very mindset thing which you have to know. Now, the reason why I'm asking you to write one cat mock again is not because of that you need to study well or you need to write a mock so that you can see how much you score. No, this is again, this even this mock is not to evaluate you. This mock is for a simple reason that I don't want that in the last four weeks you should go any week any seven days without having a match practice so you should see a mock test like a match practice like you go to the ground and practice that is what it is do not take how much you score in your heart you know do not take it to your heart usko dil pe lagane ki zarurat nahi hai because ye mock aap performance ke liye attempt kar bhi nahi rahe hai. Ye mock aap khel rahe hai only to keep you alive in the game, only to keep your hands moving, your hands and brains completely in the flow. Therefore, in this one, I advise you to write not more than one cat mock. Makes no sense to write two. It will be the, it will still be the same. That is what my advice is. Now, from there, I will go to the week number four, which is calm. C-A-L-M, calm. And let me share more about it. Now, again, as you know, the effort in this week four of calm has to drop to low, very low effort. Probably isse zada low effort aapke pure cat prep mein kabhi nahi hua hoga. However, when I am saying effort is low, the mindset needs to be very high. The mindset needs to be on point and to prepare your mindset, to prepare your mind to do well in the exam on the day, on the D-day, it is very important to drop your efforts right now so that you can focus well, so that you can focus well. And what exactly is my advice for you in this week? The first one is important. One last mock. Now that is supposed to be one, not on. Let me just correct it if my pen works right now. So suddenly my pen has stopped working as well. But if it can, then I would write it. But no. So that first point is one last mock. Very important for you to write that one last mock. And the reason why I'm saying again, even this mock is not to evaluate yourself that how are you one week ahead of cat no that's not the idea it's only to give you the match practice i don't want you to get to the cat day and not having sat in front of your computer for two hours attempting a mock that will that will not make you fresh so ideally three days to cat write a mock 
ओनली ओनली टू प्रैक्टिस योर आवर्स उसमें चाहे आपके परसेंटेज कुछ भी ना आए अगर बहुत कम भी आए आप यकीन प्लीज मेरा मानिएगा उसका आपके स्कोर पे फाइनल स्कोर पे कोई इंपैक्ट नहीं होगा वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट नंबर टू थ्री एंड फोर माइट साउंड वेरी लाइट बट आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट नंबर टू एंजॉय हैव गुड फूड एक्सरसाइज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दिस इज द फ्लेवर ऑफ द वीक फोर जस्ट रिलैक्स डू द थिंग्स विच यू विच यू एंजॉय हैव गुड फूड गुड हेल्थी फूड नॉट द फूड विच कैन मेक यू सिक हैव होम फूड exercise do some light light kind of exercise is very important it will keep you fresh then the second thing the a third thing watch a movie ideally the second last day or the last day to cat watch a movie a comedy film do not watch a emotional movie you don't want to be in that state i mean one thing which i really enjoy about me is that i know exactly that what kind of films and what kind of song will evoke what kind of emotions in me so when i know that there is something important which i have to do for which i have to be very alert and sharp i do not watch films or have any songs around me which i know always make me slightly slightly like that slightly very uh sad or emotional no we know that that which songs we like so watch a comedy movie watch a comedy sorry so watch a comedy film and that will help you completely my screen has gone away right now so watch a comedy film that is important for you and lastly very important the fourth thing was that correct your sleeping schedule now this is the time to correct your sleeping schedule you you know you have 7 days you have 6 days to bring back your sleeping schedule to normal normal means good 7 to 8 hours of sleep a correct hours to sleep and being alert and awake on your slot hours aapka slot jo bhi hai in that particular hour your action your activity needs to be at the highest your your energy level has to be at the highest so hence correct your sleeping cycle as per that now this was one long video my very first video which i have made for the students for cat prep i mean i could have made cat prep videos for long i mean it is exactly what i used to do when i was at career launcher but i know it's very important that while i help you get the best job from your mba my responsibility is also to get you to the best b school so that you can get the best outcomes from your mba which is my actual objective for you so until the next day when i'll meet you again to share another strategy a very crucial strategy which will be linked to this what i've shared with you so that you can perform well in your exam thanks a lot and goodbye and perform really well follow the plan and i'm sure you will do very well thanks a lot and goodbye